happy Friday, first graders. It's time for our math activity for our Friday learning. So you're going to need out your Friday activity packet. And in here, you'll find your watch think color page. We're going to need out some crayons. So make sure you have your box of crayons nearby. And I'll tell you what colors we need in just a few minutes for our mystery picture today. Today's mystery picture is just gonna be coloring, finding the number. We're not gonna do expanded notation this week, just back to our original watch thing color where you'll see the number on the screen and you'll color it following the color code that goes along with it. So have your crayons ready. I'll tell you exactly what colors you need in just a minute as soon as we get the PowerPoint up. Pause the video if you need to while you find your crayons and your watch thing color page. All right, our mystery picture will need some different colors. So let's see what colors we will need. Oh, I shared to the wrong screen. Let me find the right one. There we go. All right, I'm gonna power, pull up our PowerPoint for our watch think color. And we are going to need a tan, a brown, a gray, and a green. Let me change this to the slideshow for the right. There we go. Pause your screen now if you need to, to find your tan, brown, gray, and green crayon. Remember, if you don't have a tan, you can always just use your brown crayon and color very lightly to get that tan color. So find these four colors and we'll get started. Brown, 18. Find 18 on your hundreds chart and color it brown. Next up, 27. Find 27 on your hundreds chart and color it brown. Two tens, seven ones, 27. Ooh, next up is 28. You'll find that right next door to 27. 28 is one more than 27. Color 28 brown. Thirty-seven brown. Let's go to seven ones and move down to thirty-seven. Three tens. Seven ones is thirty-seven. Color brown. Next up is thirty-eight. That's one more than thirty-seven right next door. Let's color thirty-eight brown. Color change, find your green crayon and find 99 on your chart. Move down to 99 on your hundred chart and let's color it green. Color change, find your brown crayon and then find the number 46 on your hundreds chart. Four tens, six ones, let's color it brown. Now remember boys and girls, if this video is going too fast, you can always pause to catch up. 47 is next. Color it brown. We'll also take a look at the finished product at the end. 55 brown. Color 55 brown. So at the end, if you need to fill in some numbers you missed, we'll fill those in together. Next up is tan or light brown. Color 87 light brown or tan. Seventy-seven, still using that tan. Find seventy-seven and color it tan or light brown. Sixty-six tan. Find the number sixty-six, six tens, six ones, and color it tan. Seventy-seven brown, or I'm sorry, seventy-eight. We're gonna color it brown, so make sure you find your brown crayon. 78 brown. 85, color 85 brown. Eight tens, five ones. 85. 58, this one has five tens and eight ones. Let's find 58 on our chart and color it brown.
65. Six tens, five ones. Let's color it brown. Any guesses what our mystery picture might be so far? I can't wait to find out. Oh, next up is 68. Six tens, eight ones. Let's color 68 brown. Seventy-five, seven tens, and five ones together make seventy-five. Let's color seventy-five brown. Forty-eight is next. Let's color forty-eight brown. Four tens and eight ones is forty-eight. Color change, find your gray crayon. This one is 84. Let's color 84 gray. Ninety one gray. Find nine tenths and one one and color it gray. Color change again. This time we need our green crayon to color 100 green. It has 100 zero tens and zero ones to make up the number 100. Color it brown, color change. Find your brown crayon and find the number 35. Color 35 brown. Next up is 88. Let's color the number 88 brown. Eight tens, eight ones, 88. 5 It's going to be colored brown. Let's find number 5. You'll find it in the very top row. Five ones. Ninety-five is next. Let's color ninety-five brown. Go to five and move down till you find ninety-five on your chart. Eight. Find eight on your hundreds chart and color it brown. Next up is 98. Let's find 98 on our hundreds chart and color it brown. Ninety-seven. We're gonna color it tan or light brown, whichever you have at home. Let's color 97, nine tens and seven ones. Next up is 56. Let's find 56 and color it tan. Eighty-six is our next number. Let's find eight tens and six ones and color it tan. Color change, find your gray crayon and we're gonna color 73 gray. Seven tens and three ones, 73 gray. Next up is 74. You'll find that right next to 73. That's one more. Let's color 74 gray. 94 is next. Let's find nine tens and four ones on our hundred chart and color it gray. Ninety four. Sixty seven. Color it tan. Remember, if you need to pause the video, if it's going too fast, you can always pause after each slide to find the number. Next up is ninety six. Let's find ninety six and color it tan. Fifty seven. Color it tan or light brown. Seventy six. Let's color it tan. Seven tens and six ones. Eight. 
color it brown. 36. Color change. Have out your brown crayon and find 36. Seventeen is up next. Let's color seventeen brown. One ten, seven ones. Twenty five, twenty five brown. Forty five, color it brown. Four tens, five ones. Ninety two gray color change. Find your gray crayon and let's color ninety two gray. Eighty three is up next. Color it gray. 26 back to the color brown. Color 26 brown. 15. Color it brown. 110. 5 ones. 16. Color it brown. Color change. We need our gray crayon now. Color it 82. Find eight tens, two ones, and color it gray. Next up is 93. Color 93 gray. Let's take a look at our finished watch think color what do you see this is what your paper should look like if you need to pause it here to um see or fill in any numbers that you may have missed you can then give them a face oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to click through that so quickly so we have a groundhog for groundhog's day this week now if you didn't know on Tuesday, the groundhog saw his shadow. So that's why our picture today had a groundhog with that gray shadow behind him. A shadow means six more weeks of winter is what the groundhog is predicting. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with our weather these next six weeks. Maybe we'll get some more snow. Now, if you need to go back in the video and see all of the finished picture, if you missed any numbers or missed something in coloring, you can always go back and pause and listen again. Okay, use this video to help you make sure that your watch think color is all complete and all of the boxes that needed to be filled in are filled in on your coloring page too. Great job with your watch think color today and happy Groundhog's Day. I know we celebrated on Tuesday, but today we got to do some fun activities with groundhogs too. I hope you enjoyed them. Have a great Friday.